Hey guys, what's up? It's Jim here, and today I have a new game for you guys, and this is the LEGO MP5 MLI from Rainbow Six Siege. So this gun in-game is used mainly by Rook and uh, Doc, and it can also, of course, be used by Recruit. So as you can hear, I have a new microphone, and uh, yeah, anyways, let's just get onto the gun. So I really think this turned out really good, um, so I'm, I'm definitely really proud of it. So. <clears throat> Beginning at the stock, we have the really comfortable butt plate. You can also push this lever to the side, and then you will um, be able to retract the stock. So, the stock doesn't really lock in any like, position. You just kind of have to pull it out and then find the slot and then put it in. So, <clears throat> it's relatively sturdy. You can put some weight on it, but yeah, it's, it's just really comfortable. So here we have the little round uh, things that you would of course remove to take off the stock. Here we have the grip, which is my same traditional super sturdy uh, grip design that I use for all my HK guns and it just makes it really sturdy and comfortable. Here we have the uh, fire sector, which of course has safety, semi-automatic, burst, and full automatic. So it of course has the uh, working trigger as well. The fire sticker is ambidextrous. And uh, I've made it kind of different on this side just so it doesn't bother my finger when it's on the grip. So here we have the magazine release, which has the uh, AK style with a kind of a unique design on the magazine that of course had to be taped. but. You can see it really just looks unique. So you also have the um, M4 mag release, which um, is how how the mag release is supposed to be pushed, is pushing the button, but the AK one just kind of works this M4 one, if you know what I mean. So that's where the groove, where the stock sits. We have the rail, which is kind of like clipped on in a way. So I kind of tried to do that on the Lego model. So you can attach like optics like ACOGs and spawn peak and piss everyone off. You have the HK sights with the drum and the ring right there. Which I did have to sacrifice a little tire for but I think it was fine because these sights look really amazing. Here we have the magwell, the hangguard which has a rail on the bottom on the sides and we of course have the one on top. So you can put like grips on this because it's really useful and uh, you can put like these rooms and flashlights but I don't think you would really use those. We have the charging handle which the MP5 is known for um, where you lock it up then you do the HK slap. So there you have the ejection port. My gun kind of has some friction so if you see it uh, kind of kind of broken and not fully put together that's just because I want to get rid of the friction. So, it does work fairly well though, because it has a pretty strong rear band. So, here we have the uh, kind of front part with the stud transitions. You can see it's actually five studs right here where it goes to the barrel, and it goes to three studs and then to four studs because I couldn't really fit any slopes in there, so I just had to go with five studs to four studs. And it just really looks amazing. I really love the way I did this. And uh, it just fits so well. And I just am so much in love with this gun because it just looks amazing, really detailed, nicely shaped. And uh, yeah. So I think that is actually pretty much it for this gun. So you can hear that I have a new microphone. It's a condenser microphone, which is basically the ones that you use in like radio shows. So I've wanted a new mic for a really long time now. And uh, yeah, an external one was definitely the way to go. Uh, so anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought of this uh, video, which meaning the gun and the audio quality, of course. So yeah, anyways, I'll see you guys. Goodbye.